Hey guys, the Bill here. Uh, we have some unexpected announcements and unexpected news just just dropped today. I was not I was not planning to do a video today. I was working on something else for, and you know in relation to the SNK WCS, which is happening this weekend. Uh, but then SNK decided to just drop a, a bomb on us, just like that, and it's just it's crazy. Uh, the the I don't know what it means yet, uh, but it's it's certainly there's a lot of things to speculate about. So we're gonna talk about it here in a second. Um, so this is the announcement that uh, SNK um, shared uh, with us today. Now this was translated using Google, right? So this is the Japanese version, SNK Cross Arika. Now for those of you who don't know, Arika was started or formed by ex-Capcom employees back in the 90s. And the president and also the one who started the whole company is none other than um, Akira Nishitani, who is the... Um, the mind behind Street Fighter 2. Um, you know, like Street Fighter 1 was made by Nishiyama, and then Street Fighter 2 is by um, Akira uh, uh, Nishitani. And, um, you know, Arika was was made, you know, like it, it was popular, uh, it was very popular when they worked on the uh, Street Fighter uh, EX series. And after that, they worked on so many games and they actually helped so many developers uh, with, with their games. One of them, uh, one recent one is Tekken 8. They were actually uh, part of the development of Tekken 8. Uh, and today, as I said, SNK is announcing uh, a sort of, of a partnership with, with Arika. And now it's not just, uh, you know, because they already partnered before with the on, on the Arika EX Layer game, Fighting EX Layer, which had Terry Bogard as um, uh, as a guest character. This is this is not it. So let's, let's look at, the, again, this is uh, Google Translated. So SNK and Arika agreed to collaborate to revamp SNK IPs, right? Uh, this is again a press release by by uh, uh, SNK. Uh, it says that uh, the um, uh, SNK has announced that in order to promote uh, the revamp uh, of IP owned by the company, SNK would like to inform us that we have uh, that they have collaborated with uh, Akira Nishitani and Arika. Uh, the company owns over 200 SNK branded games and content. So yes, SNK has. 200 over 200 IPs uh, and including the Neo Geo and is currently promoting revamping to revive and and to revive these past IPs what okay all right as part of this effort we have decided to collaborate with Arika which has an excellent game development capabilities and is familiar with our IPs the collaboration is planned for IPs other than fighting games this is a key here we'll provide further details in the future okay so Let's dissect and talk and, and kind of explain what this uh, all means. So there, there are a few things here to, to keep in mind. So the gist of it is that SNK wants to revamp its IPs. They talked about this a lot. Now, a lot of us were kind of curious because we've only been seeing the popular franchises uh, getting revamped, right? I mean, the uh, uh, Samurai Showdown, the King of Fighters, obviously, and now uh, with Fatal Fury and City of the Wolves. So... We all were saying it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult for them to be able to revamp all these you know extensive catalog because they'll have to they can't focus on all these games and I think this is the perfect solution to it work on some games as the you know as SNK and then outsource some of them to other companies now the, the key thing here is that they saying this is about non fighting IPs right so this is not about this is not about um, World Heroes or, um, I don't know, like uh, some, some other fighting game that we haven't seen in a while uh, making a comeback. Obviously, the King of Fighters and Fatal Fury and, and Samurai Showdown, those are all being worked on the core and uh, internal SNK team. But, you know, as you know, SNK has some other popular um, IPs that are not fighting games. And an example is, you know, the stage that I, we, I have here behind me, which is Metal Slug. Could this mean that um, SNK will revive Metal Slug using Arika? Maybe, but there's not only Metal Slug, there are other IPs, and a lot of us tend to forget these other very popular IPs that, you know, we would like to see uh, brought back. One of them is Ikari Warriors. Imagine Ikari Warriors, and, and I've said this in another video, Ikari Warriors was is, is a military game now that we haven't seen a new one in a very long time. Obviously, the characters are in the King of Fighters, Raph, Clark, uh, Hyden, etc. But imagine a game, a tactical espionage game, right? And the and the, in the likes of Metal Gear Solid, but it's about the Ikari Warriors. Imagine that, you know, maybe that's that's an option that Arika can work on. Um, Athena, 
Athena was or Psycho Soldiers before Athena was popular in the King of Fighters series. She had her own uh, uh, NES game, right, an arcade game, and the Athena and then Psycho Soldiers. There's a lot of things that can be, uh, you know, uh, there's there's so much ground that could be covered in an Athena game. It could be uh, some sort of uh, of an adventure horror kind of thing or a fantasy thing. It's just a lot of the thing is the SNK. Yes, it's known for its fighting games, but there are so many other other franchises that I would love them to see um work on again uh, especially with modern technology now and again snk were saying that they want to be the top 10 uh publishers uh you know in the next i think was that was that, was that in the next 10 years right so that's you know fighting games are great but if you're just focusing on fighting games that's not going to be enough right you have to work on other things now there's so many so many i just you know there, there's even the puzzle games right puzzle bubble that's a great game i'm not saying that's what arika is going to be working on but there are so many other games that can, so many franchises. Uh, Magician Lord, that's an amazing game. One of the earliest uh, Neo Geo games that surprisingly never got a sequel. Sengoku, another, uh, it was a, you know, beat em up, beat em up game that could be, uh, again, recreated for modern audiences with the current technology. But, you know, no matter what IP they're going to be working on, it's great to see that SNK is actually, um, you know, showing us that they're working on their original plan, which is to revamp the SNK IPs. They've done the King of Fighters, they've done Fight of Fury, Samurai Showdown. What's next, right? And it seems that whatever is next is going to be um, done by or worked on by Arika. And I do hope that this is not an exclusive thing, as in it's not the only time they're going to work on, um, you know, a different developer and outsource the uh, development to, to another company. I want them to do that with, with more companies, right? I really want, this is the only way for us to see more um you know like our favorite franchises making a comeback but either way this is great news this is absolutely exciting and i can't wait to see what this you know what's what they're working on and if there's any other thing that they're doing and i just want to know more and and speaking of knowing more as i said in different videos uh i'm hoping that this week we're going to know more about the fate of fury uh city of the Wolves because again the snk wcs finals are happening this coming uh weekend and this is the biggest SNK event we've ever seen. So I'm expecting some announcements and I'm hoping it's going to be about Fatal Fury, City of the Wolves. Now, if you're enjoying this content, make sure to leave a like. Leaving a like is so helpful to the channel because it just tells the algorithm that, you know, people should watch this video more. And it doesn't take you a lot of time. Just a click and it's tremendous help to me and the channel. So again, thank you guys for watching. Big shout out to the channel patrons for supporting the channel for a long time. Uh, again, link in the description if you want to become a patron or become a premium subscriber by clicking on the join button below. Now, until next time, you guys stay safe.